The American Society of Gene and Cell Therapy is a nonprofit organization dedicated to discovering and developing gene and cell therapies to fight disease. And many of our members are scientists who have spent decades researching adenoviruses and their potential use in treatments and vaccines. But what are adenoviruses? And how are they used in vaccines to fight the virus that causes COVID-19? Well, viruses are known for being good at getting into cells. Adenoviruses are a group of viruses that usually cause common illnesses and symptoms like fevers and coughs. But scientists have learned how to disable the genes that can cause illness while keeping the ability to get into cells to treat or prevent disease. An adenovirus can be used as a vector or carrier to deliver a gene to cells with instructions to make various proteins that are required for the body to function properly. Think of the adenovirus vector as an envelope with a message inside. And in the case of a vaccine to fight COVID-19, the message being delivered is a gene that will instruct cells to temporarily make just enough of the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein to activate the immune system. This spike protein is an antigen that is recognized by the immune system as a foreign invader. These antigens trigger the immune system to produce specific protective antibodies that neutralize the virus. In this case, the antibodies needed to fight COVID-19. If a person is exposed to SARS-CoV-2 after receiving the vaccine, the immune system will detect the familiar antigens and produce antibodies to attack them. The cells are not given enough instructions to build a full virus, so the vaccine cannot cause COVID-19. A vaccinated person's immune system can better defend against the infection altogether or greatly reduce the severity of the infection. The adenovirus-based vaccine for COVID-19 was authorized to be given in a single dose. Now, let's talk about the creation of adenovirus-based vaccines for COVID-19. First, it's important to know that adenovirus-based vaccines have been researched for decades. That means the research was ready to be applied to this new virus. All COVID-19 vaccines are studied in clinical trials and are strictly reviewed by an agency that oversees medical products. In the United States, this is done by the Food and Drug Administration, known as the FDA. Clinical trials study how a vaccine interacts with the body and if it is safe and effective before it can be made available to the public. It's true that COVID-19 vaccines have been developed with record-setting speed, but they still were thoroughly tested to meet rigorous safety and efficacy standards. Clinical trials may take years but the FDA has pathways and programs in place to accelerate the development of drugs or therapies that treat or prevent serious diseases and public health emergencies. Trial results have been positive. Here to explain more is Dr. Hildegund Ertel. An adenovirus vaccine has received emergency authorization in the U.S. for prevention of COVID-19. In clinical trials, this vaccine reduced the risk of getting COVID-19 and offered complete protection against hospitalizations and deaths. Importantly, the FDA said no specific safety concerns were identified to prevent emergency authorization of this vaccine. Vaccines prevent illnesses, save countless lives, and have greatly reduced or eliminated several diseases. And if enough people receive vaccines, it will build protection against the SARS-CoV-2 virus in our communities. For more information on adenovirus-based vaccines for COVID-19, visit patienteducation.asgct.org.